Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Radiant team kill. Terra Blight. Interesting. I never know we're going to see this hero. I would like to inform you guys, uh, thank you, Beyond the Summit, for giving us a chance to just broadcasting this tournament. Beyond the Summit Spring Cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, gotta give a shout out to Studio Invade for this production value. And I love it. Broadcasting is gonna be the first time that I'm broadcasting in the um, a cat house, actually. You guys might think that, hey, what, why, why be these shelf in um, above my head? Uh, we call it a cat condo here. You know, that's where the the cat is, you know, hanging out, chilling out, just like us when we go to the bar. The cat just come here and chilling out too. And then the uh, Terra Blight, Morphling, Morphling is another hard carry that got buffed in the 7.21C, increasing strength. Imagine increasing strength on Morphling, it's going to be much easier for Morphling to play. And now, Juggernaut, talking about Juggernaut in 7.21c, Juggernaut, uh, the movement of Healing Ward decreased. It's actually a big thing, you know, because when, when you're running away with, uh, back then, when, you, when you're running away as a Juggernaut, you can just you know, to summon the healing ward and, and follow you real fast, but no, not anymore. If you running away, healing ward will be much slower than yeah. So eventually you're gonna lose the uh, out of the range of the healing ward and you all by yourself or you just hang around healing a bit. You know, this is this is hard much harder to play for a juggernaut player. Five seconds remaining. Oh hey, Kita come in. Oh, what's his name? Oh, NASA. Hopefully you guys will get a chance to see all the kitties in the camera when we uh when we're on the break. But yeah, it's cats. You can't control cats. The cat controls you actually. No you can <laughs> Yeah. No no no. Dire team back. It's the uh Dead Prophet. So the last fan for Team Aura. Dead Prophet is another bust hero too. The uh, the silent cooldown is faster, and a crypt swarm using less mana. Hmm. I love myself. I actually doing some homework before I get into the car today, <laughs> reading all the patch notes and remember it. <laughs> Talking about the Spring Cup, I actually want to thank Beyond the Summit for hosting this kind of tournament for our Southeast Asia region. We need a lot Radiant more of these tournaments to become more like a community cup for us to improve our what's it called quality, so that we can compete with other region quite well. With the last pick of Detonator is Queen of Pain. This hero got buffed with his ultimate. Um, it used to be 510 damage for the uh, for the ultimate. Now it becomes 530. And with an Agonim Scepter, it's now up to 610 damage for the Queen of Pain. Um, I kind of happy that Vow buffed his ultimate because. Because the ultimate of Queen of Pain is just nothing. I mean, you, you can only get the damage, the AOE damage. Maybe, yeah, it pierced through the armor. But you can't get another effect, like slow or stun. It, it's not like a Ravage. It's not like uh, all the AOE stun spells. You can only get the damage. But, yeah, if you can only get the damage, why don't just increase a little bit damage on the Queen of Pain? Maybe that's the reason why the people don't want to pick Queen of Pain anymore. No, that's why I, I'm kind of happy. But Aura is just going to call the Queen with the partner. That's quite a good draft for Aura. Alright, what do you think about the draft? Aura 
half of very strong team fight lineup they have the RP they have the um, Bengali and also the partner meanwhile detonator just gonna rely on the queen of pain hmm terror blade yeah well uh, we'll see we we'll see what's gonna happen just like uh, the previous game if you are on our side type one you're on detonator type two you are here with us in beyond the summit spring cup and me cyclops as your commentator this is the last series for the day whoever loses one will go down to lower bracket to meet tigers tomorrow whoever wins this one will go up in the upper bracket to meet pg barracks tomorrow let's hop into the game crash and burn Alright, man. Guys, we are in the game with the disconnection of our player. We're gonna do some quick intro first to play who in this game for Team Aura on the Radiant side, Nico and Pagna. V3 on Pangalia, CG on the uh, Juggernaut, Casual on Rubik, and Trevins on Magnus for Team Detonator on the Dire side. Fly Solo on Bane, Benha Yoshimoto on Queen of Pain, RR on Enigma, Rating Potato on the uh, Terror Blade, and Sam H on the Night Stalker. Surprise. All right, man. Are you guys ready for some action, ladies and gentlemen? Woo! That's no war, yeah. I, I thought I was in uh, the EDM festival. Put your hands in the air. Yeah, I know you like it. Most of you guys still into electronic dance music, isn't it? Hmm. All right. Enough for the off-topic. Let's go into the game. And I'm. Yeah, I already did some intro. I forgot. <laughs> Is that dress trombone for me? Okay. It seems like it's just gonna spray down and both teams just want to get the two body runes. RR Yoshimo just play some the um sentry water are here. Both party looking to get three body runes to to take the advantage right from the start. Ben her taking care of his body rune there. Maybe the fight. Nearby the river, Tranvins. Back to the body spot. Looks like solo. CT straight to the body rune. Skill was in. Nice picking up. Three body rune for team Aura. Perfect timing. I, I, I started to like his team already. Uh, as you can see, he just skill with himself in. Make sure the um, his teammate can get the bar runes. So that was great. Middle lane, of course. Queen of Pain versus Partner. This will be a quite close matchup. Queen of Pain might be better in the first three levels, but after that, if Partner 
can get some of the Nether Ward and all the Creepify and level 2 and Nether Blast that when Pugna becomes stronger. Top lane, solo lane between Night Stalker and also the Pangolia. Rubik moving into the middle lane. Let me. Oh, sorry. Let me adjust some. Bok, 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 bok. Back to the bottom lane, what happened? Terror Blade and Bane against Juggernaut and the Magnus. Nice one by Travens. Destroy the sentry ward to Rao here. Becoming a tri lane already for Team Aura, they move that Rubik to the bottom. To deal with the Terror Blade. Might be hard for him, Ray Team Potato is quite confident with his laning skills. Getting harassed a lot by the Rubik. He's fine. Sandwich on top, taking control of the creep wave. And he tried to make sure the Visery stay away from the creeps. Look at that, how aggressive he is. Queen of Pain, 8 last hits already. Blink away because he's afraid of the uh, Nether Blast. Dota 2 is getting harder and harder the each day. Especially for the new players, Joy Dota 2, man. Rubik with the boot first. Coming in for Fly Solo, Rubik. Fate Bolt already comes out, running out of mana for Fly Solo, walking back to the high ground. Go straight in. Fate, that was almost the first blood. Night Harass by Rubik. Grating Potato. On the way to a two raid ban, getting a raid ban. Mm, I don't know, maybe raid ban for a trade and go straight to a drum. Drum is a mid range price hero. Uh, I'm sorry, item that is getting more and more interesting with the fall of the bracer and raid ban. People now looking more into drums and urn and maybe have a dominator, Vladimir. Angolia trying to get the boot back to the bottom lane seems to be a hard fight fly solo walking away fly solo comes in with a brain tap spinning around that will surely go for the first blood fly solo nightman himself but he still cannot get away from the spinning however terror blade chasing for the support and creating another illusions but casual just gonna walk away with the boot dead tornado I would say that in the first series of the day, it was a big upset. People thought that the uh, Tigers might win the series quite easy against Team PG Barracks. But it turns out it was quite easy for PG Barracks, even though they won 2-1. But uh, the last game of the series was quite fast in favor of PG Barracks. So, Detonator in this series. Tornado in this series, yeah, got high, more chance to win because we don't know who Aura is, but it seems like Aura is not a casual player. Look at that, CG spinning around once again on Fly Solo, it is on Tango. Fly Solo, getting slashed out by CG. Got let him away, Terrorblade moving in, Rating Potato cover up his teammates right there. Sam at Yoshimoto. Five and a half minute, Ben Hur already level six, getting ready to gank around.
Nate Cole. As you can see, Nico, his team tag is NCGC. Do you know what that NCGC come from? It's come from Net Cafe Game Cafe. Yeah, he he used to be in a team called NCGC Net Cafe Game Cafe in Philippines, but now moved out to Team Aura. Let me guess, all these players are from Philippines too, I think. Victory run away from Sam at Yojimoto. Already level 6. Victory is still level 5. Somebody needs to teleport down in order to threat him away. Sam Edge waiting for his chance one more time. Let's come out. Oh, jumping away for the Queen of Pain. Back to the bottom lane. Seems to be another big fight here. Both party getting so near to each other. Diving in for Sam Edge. In the tower, he might get shot down by the tower, but who cares? No! Yeah, who cares? He already got the kill. To the bomb lane. Or a victory. Seven minutes part. Interesting that the lightning network is actually a night stalker. An off laner. Level seven going straight very fast. Level seven and a half. Night stalker aiming for another support side off in the void. Almost thirty percent HP. Travin skewer himself inside the tower, but not gonna help him that much. Brain sap is ready. Already being used actually. Travin falls out against three heroes of Team Detonator. They are now getting ready for to do the objective too. Pushing tower with illusions of TB. This is something quite scary. Uh, when you got ganged down, you're losing tower too. You're gonna lose it all. Like the area to play. This tower is actually quite important for your hard carry. Because the, the range of the farming will be limited. Only here. You can't go far because you can easily get cut through here and then gank down without any supports because there's no tower to teleport down. Sam at Yoshimoto keep on ganking around. He gank around. Sam Edge. Mana boy can't jump in with the bend her. Easy kill, but bend her losing a lot of HP too. He's still fine though, very nice using the Nightmare, saving the hard carry, Ben Hur coming out with the Sonic Wave, now maybe it's time for him to die, but at least he really saw the spell, he did the most damage. That's no regret to die right now for Ben Hur, but he still got away. With 630 gold earned for Detonator side. This is the power of Night Stalker in 7.21c patched. Like I mentioned earlier, when you lose the first, the uh, the tier one safe lane tower, it would be quite hard for your hard carry to come out and farm. Juggernaut definitely need a lot of farm from now on. He on the way to a sentient yacha, I believe. Pangolia. Keep on ganking once again, Night Stalker, he's just gonna use every single minute of the night time. Doesn't matter if he cannot kill, at least he could scare him away. To get three kills in the first night. And here comes the daytime. Miko? Rubik. Now they are grouping up in the middle, trying to take down the mid tier one tower out of the tornado. 
that's a good thing to do for Aura because if they keep getting ganked, they should get some tower back to shut down the area play. But whenever they're trying to push, it's just like bang their head to the wall now. Detonator forming up a really good uh, defense lineup. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Sam Edge is on killing spree. And Fly Solo is still on the run. Jumping in on Fly Solo, at least to get something out, but they have to trade themselves with the support, which is not a good trade at all. They lost the Pangolia and also the tower. Game looking very easy for Detonator at the moment, unlike in the first five minutes. Aeroblade got a free farm, rating potato is here and there. Farming non stop. CGC. This is a map control. This is a map vision of Team Detonator. They already put the aggressive ward here and here. You can see the movement inside. I, I think I, I kind of like this ward spot. Because you see to here, here, and here. If you take a look at the shape, just like a duck foot. So they love it when it comes to a duck foot ward spot. Got a lot of uh, angles to cover. NCGC Nickel. Life drain all the stop. Yoshimo the detonator. Ben is on the killing spree. Everything goes so smooth Dyer's for the team. Queen of Pain on the way to the Orchid of Benevolence once she got it. It would be super hard for everyone to run away from her. You got silence. You got all the damage from the child poison and also finish it off with the sonic wave. Surely goes down. Casual. Facebook telekinesis is trying to stop him. Somebody teleport down, it's gonna be Pakna, but it seems like Team Detonator is also ready to fight. Using the ultimate just to kill one support. For Pangolia. Knock him off and finish him with a swashbuckle. Yo, she more than that tornado. Four K ahead. One and a half minute until the night time. Nice stalker is getting ready. He already got the face food and the drum entrance. When this night time comes, forget about running away from the night stalker. Face food, drum, super fast. And also, Hand of Midas. In 2019, you still want to go for the Hand of Midas when you just got nerfed like from 200 gold down to 160 gold. I don't think he should, he should go for Hand of Midas at this point. Uh, Black Hole for the first time, this game just locked out at Magnus. Coming in for Ben Hur, moving in with the Child Poison, all this stuff. Scream of Pain. Shadow of Strike and Scream of Pain, sorry, not Shadow of Poison. That is the... Uh, Shout Demon. Tarot Blade. On the way to the Benta style. Nice Stalker. Turn on his ultimate. Just to get away from the gang and he should be fine. Have you ever heard about the law? Oh no, nah, the law later. Let's take a look at the game first. Somebody get telekinesis down. It seems like the, uh, the temple has been interrupted, but however, Detonator still forced himself in to get one more kill. I don't think Pangolia can run away from. Dominating DTN Samish. Six K I hate first hand kill for Team Detonator. All good. Seems good. Sunset. 
now on top. First time using the Omni Slash. Is it going to be enough damage to kill any one of Team Detonator? I don't think so. Fiend Crypt sorry comes out. He's just going to follow up with the Brain Sap. He didn't even have to use the Brain Sap. It's just enough damage along with the damage can easily kill the uh, Juggernaut, the hard carry of Team Aura. Now the supporters getting Scream of Pain. This is getting worse and worse. Got Queen, Queen of Pain actually getting stronger and out of control now. She's getting closer to Orchid of Evalence. Terror Blade gonna get another kill on the Pangolier too. Team Aura, the new form team are in big trouble right now. Running in, jumping in, trying to catch Telekinesis. Telekinesis! No? No Telekinesis. Maybe because of his teammate, he's still too far away. He got nothing if he uses Telekinesis. Here we go. Jumping back to the scene again for that casual. I'm still waiting for his Telekinesis since I was young. Thirty years pass, still no telekinesis. Maybe he just wanna keep his teammate stick to him before he started to do something. RP maybe for the first time in this game. RP no silence by the Orchid of Evidence and also the double damage screen of pain. This is painful to watch. He's trying to land it. I see he raised his hand. Like going to the EDM festival. And then he died because he, the drop is not that good. Uh, 12k ahead. Team Detonator getting ready to go for the high ground. The ETN. Talking about the um, sins. Um, I don't know, you guys want to know, still want to know about the law, about the, uh, the Vlad? <laughs> now nah, here we go, Sam S. Keep on punching. This game is such a hard game for Team Aura. Fiend Grip, it seems like everything goes wrong for Aura, this one. Double kill banner. 4 to 18 game score. We just need two more until we hit the place. Shout out to Blaze for having patience on me today. Uh, we are good now. Well, informing you guys right here that tomorrow we're gonna have even better production value. Stay tuned, maybe more kitty. Straight inside a tier four. That's not thing Team Aura could do, but just fall back to the base. It's all about the heroes picking, I believe. Maybe the problem about the drop and also the laning phase. Look at that. We lost the uh, first set of racks real quick. And that's it. it. Terror played. <laughs> Got everything he needs to end the game right here with Power Trade. Manda style and Dragonlance. His next item should be. I have Scotty. Get a Scotty. I kind of like the decision making of Team Aura. They got nothing to lose. They just won a big team fight. Maybe catching Team Detonator off guard. They might do it. They might can do it. Sam Edge. Hopefully Sam Edge get caught, but he didn't. He's fast. He got a good smell, good nose. Amazing what you find lying around. Oh, Queen of Pain. Orchid of Evelyn's. 
And also Maelstrom on the way to the Black King bar. <laughs> so rich queen. Got some quick fire problem um, question. Which queen is the most brutal queen in the world? Yeah, of course, gonna be Queen of Pain, isn't it? But what's your opinion? Oh, no! RP comes up, and then follow up with the army slash. Fiend Grip trying to stop him. Uh, yeah, he's just trying to delay some time of his died. Bend her garden. 5 to 21. I think we now might have to brainstorm how Team R are gonna come back in this game. They keep falling down further and further more, it's almost 20k ahead. But I have seen the biggest swing, I mean the biggest swing than 20k. I would say they still have chance, probably around 10% in this game for Team R. But the fact that they already lost the mid tier, uh, I mean the mid Varax, it's just gonna make the game is even less percent than 10, should be like 5. TB got a butterfly. No light at the end of tunnel at all for Team R. This is the fattest hero of R with the Mental Stein and also Divs of Light. But the problem is, I I barely see him get slashed anyone. Mm. If he cannot stand still and just dealing the maximum damage to people, it won't be enough to kill anyone of Team Detonator. Because the item gap is too big at the moment. Even support would be hard to kill, really. Now, especially Queen of Pain with the Black King bar. That's a good tower for the Queen of Pain. Marching on to the top tier 3 tower. I think they can. Jumping in. Start the fight off with the silence. Two silence on Rubik and also the Pagna. Rubik gone first. Pagna is a little bit tanky, so he got back to the fountain. He's fine. Pangolier comes in. The swashbuckle. Not gonna help that much, Queen of Pain. Jumping in with a Sonic Wave, he missed the, that's the air ball, Sonic Wave, but it doesn't matter, he's strong, he's just gonna keep on right clicking everyone in front of him, even Juggernaut cannot fight Queen of Pain toe to toe, that's a big problem now. Ben Hur, Yoshi Moto Detonator, about to get the game one, out of aura. Got the tower, straight to the throne, silence on Rubik. As a GG call coming out from Team Aura, Detonator takes the lead, 1-0 in the best of three series. Woo. That is pretty one-sided game, man. I Hopefully we can see a better performance coming out from um, Aura in the next one. I think the problem it's all about the uh, the laning phase, and also the and also the heroes picking. Uh, as as you can s as you can see, like I in the laning phase, there's a lot of rotation coming out from uh, from Team Aura, but it seems like they have been rotated for at least two times, but they still cannot like happy and and satisfied with, with their rotation so they keep on moving around that waste their time a lot meanwhile team team detonator rotation is much more effective and and that hard carry get to farm a lot especially 
in, in the middle lane, Queen of Pain gets a maximum farm. And also in the off lane, such an easy lane for Terra Blade. Man, well, we hopefully will get the uh, better uh, after the team talk, after the match break. Hopefully they're going to come back stronger for this one for Team Aura. Well, we might have to give them some time because they, they are the new form team. They're going to need a lot of practice. But who knows, they might draw up some secret strat in the second game of the series. For now, we're just going to shoot you guys with some interesting ads from our sponsor. And we'll be right back for game number two. Are you guys ready? Well, you have to be. Move out. 